Hello critters. Um, it's Amazon Prime Day time, so here are some Prime deals that I found. The first half is going to be 3D printing stuff, printers, dryer boxes, filament, you know, okay deals. Some are actually pretty good deals. And then also some battery box deals as well. Um, I'm going to not have my face visible when I show you these because the computer is still goofed up. So I'm going to switch over to the monitor screen and start showing you the deals. Also, don't forget to check out the AliExpress app on your phone. I do not have a commissionable link for that. Um, I have an AliExpress link, but I, I can't link to anything in the $2 section. But there's a whole bunch of neat stuff in the $2 section. They have um, 3.5 and, and 5 meter tape measures, which are fantastic. Do I have one right here? I had one right here. I don't know what to do with it. But anyway... um. Also, um, they have 10 packs of magnet hooks. They're little magnets that have a little hook on them. Great for hanging up lights and stuff outside. But two bucks for 10 of them. Hard to beat. And in their choice deals, I scored a, um, an orange Balfang ham radio, dual band, 2 meter and 440, for like 13 bucks. Yeah, $12.84. Uh, yes, please. The radios finally have, you can get it in other colors besides orange. But the radios finally have the ability to charge by USB-C. And what's interesting is the charging is built into the battery, not the radio. So you can actually unplug the, um, the battery from the unit and plug the USB-C cable into the battery and it'll just charge it. Um, I actually got a second one when I paid like 16 for this one. Then they dropped it down to 1284, so I grabbed the second one. It's going to be nice having a second battery because I can leave one on the car plugged in while I'm using the other one. So... These are getting dirt cheap now. But here are the Amazon deals. Let's go to those. So we have this filament dryer. Um, I don't know how good it is. I've never used it. Um, Soval is made by other companies, but that's okay. I wanted a cheap one. I wanted it with a fan, and I wanted it that would hold two rolls. I'm tired of doing one roll at a time. So this holds two rolls, up to 12 hours. has a fan, 42 bucks. However, there's a trick to get it even cheaper. Do subscribe and save. They actually raised it. This was thirty-five because <laughs> I bought. I you see here. I bought it for thirty-five, um, but they raised it at thirty-eight. But still, you save another four dollars and just set this for six months and just cancel it after you get it. <laughs> but yeah, so for the thirty-eight bucks plus tax, you get a two-roll with a fan filament dryer. Not bad. Next up, printers. Um, Creality Ender 3 for $169. I think it's actually available cheaper in another link. I'm going to have links all in the description below. Any Cubic Cobra Neo, $129. Jesus, it's a 220 by 220 by 250 printer Amazon Prime ship for $129. The only way you're getting better than that is if you have a micro center nearby and you use that you know, first time customer coupon to get one for $99. Um, here's the official Creality link, $159, so $10 cheaper. So that's actually not bad for an Amazon shipped price. Um, Creality's um, resin printer, one fifty with a twenty-two dollar coupon, not bad. Oh wait a minute, is this the? Ooh, I gotta make sure this is the mono. Because you don't want it if it is. It should be mono. I don't think anybody makes RGB um, printers anymore. But verify if you get one. Make sure. Yeah. Oh, the Hallett series is all mono. Yeah, the Hallett series is all mono. Yeah. 2K monochrome LCD. You do not want an RGB screen. Um, here's the Eligo version of this for 171. Uh, here's an Eddie Cubic Cobra Neo for 129. This is basically an Ender 3, but with more advanced features. The the Eddie Cubics actually do a pretty good job of whooping the butt of the Ender 3s. The, the features are nice, quality control is good. Oh, looks like it has a, a USB slot. Yeah. Oh, USB-C and a micro SD slot. Nice. I like that they're recessed a little bit. That's good. You know, no more, you know, rubbing up against the SD card and snapping the SD card in half. <laughs> I've done that a couple times. Um, any cubic photon mono, 6.6 inch 4K screen, 150. Pretty hard to beat. The resin printers are getting so cheap, it's, it's crazy. Um, uh, I'm familiar with the brand, but I'm not familiar with this printer. But it's basically an Ender 3 clone. Color screen, uh, says it has auto leveling, but 150 bucks for an Ender 3 clone. Uh, you know, it looks like a decent one, but again, I do not have any experience with this particular machine. 
This, I have no idea what this is. It's not even a Prime Day deal, but it's a damned neat looking machine for a hundred bucks. <laughs> and it's almost fully enclosed. Uh, as a matter of fact, it might be enclosed. That looks like a clear cover there. That is a clear cover. That's why they're listing ABS. Now, the downside is it's only a six inch cube build volume, 150 millimeters cubed. But still, that's a a damn neat looking machine for $99 shipped. If I had a spare hundred bucks, I'd get one. In fact, I want to save this on my wish list in case I make enough money at Narum and it's still available when that time comes. Because that's an interesting machine. I mean, you're only going to print small things with this. But I could see throwing like a 0.8 millimeter or a 1 millimeter nozzle on this and making it a dedicated, you know, ABS ASA machine to um, crank out, you know, um, functional parts. If you need brackets or hooks or attachments, I, I print a lot, a lot of kind of stuff. Um, so having a little dedicated enclosed ABS machine, a little ABS monster, would be pretty cool. I have no idea if it's any good. Um, not bad for a hundred bucks. <laughs> Next up, now we're in. So this is 19 bucks for some TPU. Not a horrible price for TPU. And a cardboard spool. Uh, Naga, I have not used their TPU, but I have used their PETG, and I really like it. It was dry. It had no moisture. The adhesion was wonderful. The clarity was fantastic. It is literally my go-to clear TPU. Someone asks me for clear TPU, I'm telling them to go buy a roll of Naga. I, I love their TPU. Um, this is their, um, uh, not TPU, PETG. Um, if I you need clear PETG, I, I buy Naga. That's what I buy. Um, it just works well so far. I'm actually kind of annoyed because you're going to see in a moment it's on sale for $13.59. I just paid $15. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my roll. I get sit next to me. I just got it today in the mail. Um, but here's their TPU 95A for 20 bucks or 1950. Uh, 3D Hojo. I have no idea who these guys are, but I like the fact that they use um, cardboard spools. And today it's thirteen dollars and fifty eight cents. It's not a huge discount. The regular price is sixteen, but still thirteen fifty eight for a kilo of PTG. On a cardboard spool, not bad. Polymaker. Now, this is a weird one. 60 bucks. You're thinking, ouch. No, 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 no. That's three kilograms. That's three kilograms of polycarbonate. <laughs> so, if you want polycarbonate from a, a very respected name brand for 20 bucks a kilo, here you go. 58.79 gets you three kilograms of 1.75 polycarbonate on a cardboard spool not freaking bad if i had a use for it and i didn't already have like six or seven rolls of pc i would probably think about trying to nab that but i just don't have a need for more pc right now i don't i don't print polycarbonate you drone guys well no idea who this is but it's 13 bucks for a, bro, uh, a kilogram of blue pla i'm assuming it's pla doesn't even say we we can assume it's pla yeah 192.10 is pla so there's 13 bucks for some uh, potluck wish list who knows what it is blue pla <laughs> uh, $13.80 for a roll of petg looks like it's only available in white but still 13 bucks for a roll of petg is pretty good i have no idea who this company is but 18 bucks for a decent, nice looking, high quality roll of PETG on a cardboard spool with a 20% coupon, and that orange looks badass. I'm really, really tempted to try a roll just to see if that orange is as bright as this picture indicates. <laughs> uh, I actually bought a roll of this. I actually just printed um, some of this today. So let me bring up a picture real quick for you. Is it this one? Yeah. There it is. So that is that PETG right there. I just printed that part this morning for my Boomba 5 inch. So again, not bad, 15 bucks. This is not even a Prime Day deal. It's just a decent for some nice metallic silver PETG. Um, this one I have purchased before. I like the Strong Hero brand and I love the fact that they have 
gradient PETGs. So that's where the color slowly changes. Now this just changes back and forth between clear and blue. So you go clear, blue, clear, blue, clear, blue. Um, they have other colors, including green gradient, pink reddish gradient, and also this um, slightly more opaque um, multicolor gradient, which I love. I've also printed a rocket with this. It's a little bit more brittle than Naga, but not bad. Um, you're only going to really have that brittleness problem if you're printing vase mode like I do. Uh, not that bad. I've had much, much worse. But I just want to be clear about that. That's not quite quite as high a quality as Naga PETG or Polymaker PETG or, um, you know, definitely not as high quality as Atomic Filament. But um, Atomic Filament's the... I love their stuff. <laughs> but I also love the colors that are available for an affordable price for um, PETG. Uh, here is the Naga PETG, including the clear. This is the one that I actually ordered yesterday and I've already ordered multiple times before. Um, this is my go-to for clear PET, but they have a whole bunch of colors here, and it is thirteen fifty-nine a kilo. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Wish they had more transparent colors. That's not a, that's a decent soft uh, soft orange, and they also have a nice simple pink too. Not exotic or weird, just a nice simple straightforward pink. Um, Yogi, I've used them before. I like them. Um, $15 with a 5% extra coupon on top of the subscribe and save. So if you pick subscribe and save and tick this, you get an extra 5% off. Um, but it's only on your first order and probably only get that for one roll. If you were to order more than one, the extra ones will probably be $15.19, which is still not bad for a transparent PETG. Um, they're not the driest filament. I have had rolls come in slightly wet. If you print too slow, they might snap, crackle, pop a little bit. But if you bump the speed up a little bit, it usually stops. But you might need to put it in a dryer. But still, not bad for a trans PETG for the price. Polymaker PETG, $17.59. That's actually a pretty good deal for Polymaker. It was at 20% off. Yeah, 20% off. So you're basically getting 20% off Polymaker PETG, which is not horrible. Ooh, what's that? Oh, just probably make her clear. I haven't tried their clear yet. But I love my Naga, so I'm not sure if I'd want to change. Oh, is this a bigger roll? Ooh, how much is that? Wow, that's not even a sale price. Boo. <laughs> but the rest of their stuff is um $17.59. Um, I already got that one. Here it is. Now, this one I've used, and this one I love. This transitions between blue, purple, and light blue, and back and forth again. I absolutely love this filament. Again, it's a teeny tiny bit more brittle than um, like Naga or Atomic or Polymaker PETG. But if you just increase your flow rate, print a little thicker, it's perfectly fine. It's very good. Um, the rolls I've gotten have been dry. They've been perfectly wound. Um, they're not cardboard spools, but still, that's actually a good price for them. They're usually like $22, $23. Um, like $21.99 or $29.99 or something like that. Um, but I've purchased this particular roll before, and I absolutely love it. If you print all your rocket parts in one direction, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, or bottom, top, um, you can actually make a full-size rocket, and it'll transition through all the colors up through the rocket. It's very nice. Okay. Uh, 3D Hojar PLA, eleven eighty eight. Is it any good? I don't know. I don't care. 99.9% .9 of PLA is all perfectly good and perfectly adequate nowadays. You just don't have too many problems with plastics lately. But for $11 a kilo, it's $11.88 for the black and $11.03 for the gray or the white. Um, that looks like a milk white. It's like milk jug white. Um, and that's gray. Those are both $11. $14 for the red. $19 for the blue. Not worth it. But the black, the gray, and the red for 12, 11, and 11, not freaking bad. Cardboard's full, nice, neat winding. Um, I, it's probably perfectly good PLA. I can't imagine there being anything wrong with it. PLA is pretty hard to screw up. <coughs> but that's a fantastic price if you need a bulk amount of plastic just to print out junk. Um, Sunlu, decent filament. I like their filament, $14. 
not a bad discount. It's like four or five buck discount. Uh, everyone's silk. I'm not a huge fan of the dual color um, co extrusions. I never get perfectly even colors. I always get bleed through that moves around the object, even when you're printing in vase mode. Um, so I prefer triple extrusions, which seem to print perfect for some reason, but the the duels don't. I'm not sure why, but still, 16 bucks. That's not a huge deal. It's four dollars off, but they do this pretty often. But still, if you're low on it and you want to grab some, 16 bucks is not bad. I believe it's 18 for the triple. Um, here is another $13 deal for PLA. King Rune actually makes good plastic. I use a lot of their, um, actually their um, co-extrusion, I believe is what I use. And then um, also I use some of their PETG. No problems. They're, they print perfectly fine. Um, the, I believe the green in that rocket I showed you, that's King Rune PETG, and it printed perfectly fine. Here's the King Rune Triple. This is the stuff I use. If you saw my um, triangle rocket, you've seen how perfect the color transitions is on each face of the rocket, and that's repeatable. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's it's fantastic. The, the triple co-extrusion just really works well. This is not even on a prime day sale. It's just their um, regular sale price, but 18 bucks is really not bad for that. It's my preferred triple extrusion. Uh, 15 bucks for some Sudlu. These are bat colors, so they're less shiny. Um, looks like they have blue, pink, green, white, and red for right around 13 to 15 bucks. Looks like the cheapest is going to be your pink, your green, and your red at $13.39, while the white's 15 and the blue is 16. So your, your special there is gonna be the pink, green, and red. Uh, twelve seventy nine for generic. Who knows who makes it? PLA. Ooh, there it goes. Now we're getting into the non three D printing deals. These are actually wonderful. I cannot believe they're still available. These are ninety eight cents a pop. If you have one of those um electric compressor driven coolers like I have, not the peltier ones, not the thermoelectric ones, but the ones that actually have a compressor in it and they can run on AC or twelve volts. I'm actually working on converting one to run off USB-C, which should work because in eco mode, they only consume 30 or 40 watts, which is within the specifications for USB-C PD at 15 or 20 volts. Um, hopefully 15 volts or 12 volts would be even better because um, more of the 12 volt USB-C PD units will do the 12 volts. It's less common to find 15 and 20 volts on the 12 volt USB-C PD units. Um, but it also means you'll be able to run it off a battery, which is cool. Um, but these are 98 cents a pop. If you get one of the larger 40 or 50 quart coolers, you buy six of these and they will lay like Legos in the bottom of that cooler perfectly. And that does two things. One, um, they tend to freeze at the bottom. And so this moves your food a little bit further away from the freezing part of the cooler. And then these act as a thermal sink. So if your cooler gets unplugged for a little while, these will keep the stuff in your cooler cooler a little bit longer until you get it plugged back into power again. But you specifically want the small ones for 98 cents and you get six of them and they nest perfectly right in the bottom of that cooler. Uh, a couple standing desks. Oh, that's not a deal anymore. Ew, that just changed. That was like 105. <laughs> Screw that. Um, here's a, a standing 44 inch standing desk for 103 bucks. Not bad for a standing desk. It's not an incredible deal. You can see it's only 20%. You could find other standing desks on Amazon for around this price. I've seen a couple of them for short lift times below a hundred bucks, but those are available. Um, now we're into batteries. This is probably one of the best deals, um, for a smallish battery. It's only, it says 268 watt hours, but the reality is you're going to get about 210 watt hours out of it. Um, it does have USB bi-directional charging, and it also has direct AC input charging. I mean, double check that um, claim there. I think so. I'm pretty sure that USB-C 100 watt is bi-directional. I'm not sure on that. It might not be. But below that port, that flap on the bottom there is a direct AC input. So you could plug solar panels in this, you could plug 12 volts into this, or you could plug direct AC into this. 
and this thing can charge up in like an hour. It's, it's very fast. Or you could put it on silent mode. It'll charge up at only 100 watts, but then the fans won't turn on, or at least not very fast or as often, and it'll stay quiet. The advantage of this unit is it's sub 300 watt hour class unit, but it has a 600 watt inverter. Most, most only have a 300 watt inverter. Not only does this have direct AC input, not only does this have a 600 watt inverter, but it's lithium iron phosphate battery, so it's not gonna burn your house down, and it's designed for UPS functionality. So you could plug your AC into this and then plug your, for example, like exactly how I use it, I plug my fridge into this and it'll run my fridge for several hours, like three or four hours it'll run my refrigerator until the power comes back on. And this way my refrigerator never shuts down. Um, but the advantage of this unit is that it's very, very cheap for what it does. Now you can actually get it pretty regularly for this price, $199 to $219. <laughs> but it's a refurbished unit on eBay. Here for Prime Day, you're getting the $199 price for a brand new unit. Although both the refurb and the brand new unit come with a two-year warranty. Um, but the EB3A is a nice small unit that has a usable 210 watt hours, lithium iron phosphate batteries, 600 watt output, 100 watt USB-C output, direct AC input, and UPS functionality. You do not often get that many features and functions in one single box this small. You're going to see that in a lot of the other boxes I'm about to show you. Um, this one I actually bought. I shouldn't have. I don't have the money for it, but I'll figure out how to pay for it because it's finally a high power, high capacity unit at a price I can afford. Um, and you're going to see where there are some shortcomings to this. So this unit is a 1200 watt output. So it has a 1200 watt AC output. Um, and it has a 1,228 watt hour capacity. It uses lithium iron phosphate. It has direct AC input at 1,000 watts. Um, so it'll charge nearly full in like an hour and a half. Um, it has USB-C out. I don't remember how much it was for the USB-C out. Was it 65 watts or 100 watts? Uh, there it is. Uh, oh, it is PD 100 watt, but I think it's output only. I don't think it's input. You yeah, see how it says specifically output. So this will do USB-C 100 watt output. This does 10 amps for 12 volts. It does 1200 watts for AC. It's got over 1200 watt hours of capacity and it uses lithium iron phosphate batteries and it has direct AC input. Now there are a couple limitations. Um, First of all, the 1,000 watt input is only through AC. If you plug in a solar panel, you're limited to about 100 watts. However, you can also plug into the DC input, the car charging input port, for another 100 watts. So you can plug a second solar panel with a controller into that, and you can get 200 watts input. So not the greatest for off-grid if you need high-demand applications, because you can't recharge it super fast without AC power. But, um, but all the other features, 1,200 watt inverter, 1200 watt hour capacity lithium ion phosphate battery so it's not going to burn your house down 1000 watt ac input um, 100 watt usb c output not a bad freaking unit 330 dollars so 429 tick the hundred dollar coupon i have yet to find anything that comes even close to this price for the 1200 by 1200 ac and um watt hour capacity as well as the direct AC input at a thousand watts that's going to be hard to beat that's going to be so freaking hard to beat um, I just wish it had a little more solar input but it's not a deal breaker for this price um, so that's really really not bad I'm actually going to use this to power some pretty substantial things in the house here and I'm going to plug it into a um, um, a smart switch so that basically from during the high peak times for power where i live it's 20 cents a kilowatt while low peak is 11 cents a kilowatt so i'm going to have this unit power some of the stuff in my house and the smart switch will simply turn off the ac input and it'll be running on battery power during that high peak time when it's 20 cents a kilowatt i'm not going to save any power i'm actually going to use about 10 percent more because you lose about 10 percent in conversions when you charge and discharge but i'll be getting all that power at 
11 cents a kilowatt instead of 20 cents a kilowatt because it only has to run whatever I want to run for six hours. And then once the power is peak again, bingo, bango, this will kick back on with the smart switch and, and recharge itself in an hour. So this is going to be pretty neat. It'll also be neat in the car because that's enough capacity to run my little cooler more than a day. Um, so the 100 watt solar input during the day more than enough to recharge what it uses at night. So I'll be able to keep the cooler in my car while I'm traveling powered 24 seven with just a little 100 watt solar panel on the roof. This is pretty cool. This is a, I don't, I don't have one. I did order one. I'll have it in a couple days, but um, this looks pretty impressive on paper for the price, 330 bucks. And with Amazon, if it ends up being garbage, you can return it. Oh, and also, don't forget, if you use your Amazon credit card, you get another 5% off. That's, um, what, another $15 off on that. So you, that basically covers your tax. Um, this seems like a halfway decent deal for brand new panels. 133 200-watt panels. So that's um, two 100-watt solar panels for $133. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. Um, this one seems okay. But this is part of the um, something you have to be careful with batteries. This is a unit that has 500 watt output. Um, actually, it's 500 watt peak. So it's probably 260 watt. Yeah, it's 260 watt output, 243 watt hours, um, USB-C PD 60 watt bi-directional, so you can charge by USB-C. Um, it's a low power unit that can run small AC stuff. So, for example, you can run a 3D printer off this, you can run your CPAP off this, you can run your cooler off this, a few lights and a fan in your laptop, stuff like that, for a little bit of time. It's only 92 bucks. But the problem is, and you'll see other units like this, it uses lithium ion batteries. So you're not going to want to use this long-term, constantly powered applications indoors. Lithium iron is a fire hazard. However, for a small, compact unit that has DC, USB, AC, and USB-C bi-directional charging all in one little unit with enough power to be usable at a cheap price and a compact size, not bad. This kind of a unit is pretty cool if you just need, a, if you basically, if you're using a battery, a USB battery pack, but you need something with more power than the, you know, the 30,000 or 40,000 milliamp um, pack that you have. You just need something with a bit more juice that also has AC ports. This is nice because as long as the thing is just sitting, you know, it's not being charged, it's not dangerous. So these kind of things, you don't want to leave them on the charger. When they're done, charge, unplug them. And they're perfectly safe. But I tend to use these as UPSs, which is why I only like lithium iron phosphate. So that's where this one comes in. For $139, it's about the same specifications with slightly more capacity than the one I just showed you. Um, same, you know, 240 watts. I believe it is a bi-directional, yes, 60 watt USB-C in and out. It's got DC outputs. It's got AC outputs. It's 40 bucks more, but it's lithium iron phosphate. So this is going to be nice and safe. It's not going to burn you. <laughs> but again, nice. The, the disadvantage is it's going to be slightly larger. So this unit's probably going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier than the, um, the other unit, but not by much because the... Lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry is lower density. So this is actually a pretty good deal. Normal price, 180 So if you want a nice, small, little compact unit to take with you. Now, keep in mind, this is big compared to a, a USB battery um, pack. But um, you got AC, 12-volt, USB-C, regular USB-C. It's got everything in here. You can plug your laptop into this. You can plug your little fridge into this. You can plug whatever you want into this, you know, up to 240 watts. Um, that's not bad for the price. What's this one here? Uh, this one's a little higher capacity. Oh, well, you might want to do that. Um, so yeah, it's the same unit. It's a little bit bigger. Is it also lithium iron phosphate? Yes. So same 240 watt limit, but bigger battery. So for an extra, um, 20 bucks, you can get an extra 80 or yeah, an extra 80 watt hours of capacity. You'll have to decide whether that increased capacity is worth the $40 price difference. But $139, not bad for what that is. Uh, this one I actually have. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't say I purchased this. I did. 
Oh no, I don't have this. I have the bigger one. I have that. There's a slightly bigger one that I have. I think. I think mine's 716 watt hours. This is 518 watt hours. But I have the same brand. It's the exact same unit with a bigger battery. This one's also halfway decent. It's got the 100 watt in and out. So while this does not have direct AC input, you have to plug in a little, um, um, you know, barrel plug to charge it. You can also plug your 100 watt USB-C input into this and charge this up in five or six hours. Um, because it's a 500 watt hour battery, it has 500 watt AC output. Usually your AC output is similar to your watt hour capacity because they don't like drawing down these units at more than one C. So 240 watt hour battery usually has a 240 watt AC output. 500 watt hour battery usually has a 500 watt um, um, AC output, which is why the EB3A is so unusual with the 600 watt AC output. They're using higher quality cells in that battery. You know, it's from Blue Eddy, so it's a higher quality unit. But this, I have this unit. I like this unit. Mine's the larger one. Same exact unit, just more batteries inside. Um, mine's, I believe mine's a 716 watt hour capacity. But $50 coupon, uh, so 220 bucks, you get 518 watt hours, 500 watt AC output, and lithium iron phosphate battery technology, and USB-C bi-directional 100 watts. So it'll put out 100 watts over USB-C, and you can also charge it at 100 watts using USB-C. Usually you can stack them. Yes, you can. So as you can see here, you can stack them. So for example, you could have you know a solar panel go into the solar input and then a solar converted to USB-C into the PD input, which allows you to shorten the charge time by stacking your charging connections. So you can um, recharge faster by stacking. But not bad, that's a pretty good deal. And I believe that's it. Yep, that's it for my Amazon Prime deals. There's probably more there. I didn't want to, you know, spend an hour going over what I found there. We're already at three minutes. But that's what I found for 3D printers, for filament that I tend to like, and for some basic battery box info. If you have any questions, ask down below. Keep in mind, stock on these things is, you know, there's no way to control that. You know, if a bunch of people buy up one thing, it's it's gone. <laughs> That's the nature of these deals. So I will see you guys in stream tomorrow.